Head flop. Low. Head flop. Row. Five Q. It's uh, five qualities. Uh, it's um, carry, fall, throw, flow, put. I think it's about developing a communication between people. That's more a feeling like we're having a conversation through our bodies, but it doesn't follow. Um, it has some rules, but it's not about perfection. It's just about communication. What can you do with my body when you close my eyes? you're doing it and meet and follow with them and have a dance with them and don't notice that you're doing it. Yeah, it's about tricking your brain. I can spiral. How do I do that? Come, come, come. Spiral up. What's that? Wait, I'm stuck. <laughs> did you see what she did? My weight was falling. It was falling, it was moving, in a, it wasn't this, it was going, it was moving in a spiral, and she caught the spiral. I think the workshop allows people to access ideas, like using the hands and the surfaces of the hands as weapons for martial arts. It allows the defense technology from martial arts. It allows the fluidity and the clarity of form from dance. It allows you to play the game like you would in Clown. It allows you uh, some very specific circus skill type of work, how to stand, how to work, how to move on your hands a bit, how to interact with the floor. I think, uh, yeah, there are skills to learn, but it's more about universal movement principles. Ah, like our uh, hands, we do a circle, open, go back. Then we come up, lift from the ball up. Now we watch the woman. She buries her head. She steps forward. Four steps. You walk back. And get comfortable like your eyes skinny. Let your arms swing. And you start to see if you throw a little more when you go back. Add in a little quality. And we're going to use the fingertips to turn. So we're going to walk as if we're, the hands are taking us. When we turn, the fingertips take us. So it's a little strange, almost Japanese walk where you're creating. Your head is centrifugal, that means it moves in and out on a diagonal. And it takes you through this 
I use these principles when I wake up in the morning to help me get out of bed. I use the breathing principles and all the movements in my life. I use them in my music. I use them in my whole idea of everything. I do cooking and relating to other people and feeling distance on the street and riding a bicycle. I use them for everything. Now we have two sunrises and sunsets. Up and down. Now we have up, over, down. Yes. Okay, now we make a little more of a wheel. Up, over. That takes it. Here's your nose. And now you're going to point where you work. You point where you work. That's where I'm going to soften with your hand. Yes. I think for men, the workshop is would be interesting because it's a way to interact with, in a non-martial way, in a non-fighting atmosphere but still with the idea of being reactive, not having to hide the masculine reaction to each other, and at the same time find a harmonious way together to work. And also with the feeling of support of working with another male human being, because there's confidence there. Sometimes you really feel like you can rely on the person, their strength is there. Can you turn? turn yeah. Okay, so this woman is stronger than me. <laughs> come, feel, come over. I'm not kidding, it's not a joke. Feel her arm. That's not a joke. Look at this. Feel her back. Feel her back straight. Okay. Feel my arm. You want to feel my arm? No. 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 She's strong. By muscle, size, and thickness, she's strong. Don't think she's female. She's strong. Uh, no, no. You felt it, right? You felt it yourself, it was too much work. So easy. Such a nice ride. So nice. When you don't even help, you don't help. Try to reverse it, but always soft, always soft. Probably the strongest moment for people that I saw in the workshop was the moment where they realized that with the forms I gave them, they could still interact with other people and touch and communicate, and they were using it as a real communication form rather than an idea of just learning a skill that was dead they could only use for this particular workshop they could use it for their own practice and now try to find maybe a connection two feet maybe the feet move into something maybe you use this to move across the floor now as a motor sometimes you catch up you fall you slide you see what i'm doing yes Maybe even you have a little forward going on, maybe it goes halfway forward, slides to the side, keep moving. It's like a crawling mechanism. Now you can start bringing the flow into your head. I think this system is a way to respect natural systems, to understand till now we are always trying to make a, a God system, a system that sits above everyone and looks down. And this system is more about some simple rules to play a game with. And the rules are rules of right and wrong, but they're still just games of right and wrong. And we use them as a teaching way in a, in a very specific way so that we can help people learn phrasing, which is the ability to make some kind of phrase beautiful for someone because it has a lot of different qualities. 
so that the phrase becomes interesting and intense because it has a rhythmic structure. So, so much about it is about finding an individual way to use this technique. So I think that's the difference. It's not a perfect system. Yeah, so. <laughs> no, no, I have a lot of questions. I, it was great. Uh, the people were really wonderful and gave me a lot of now, from this soft thing, look. good feedback. That doesn't mean I figured everything out. So a lot of questions happened, and they raised a lot of questions for me. It didn't just wasn't just we had a great experience and we love you. It was also they gave me really helpful feedback for me to think of how I should give my system to people. How will I, the system, live on past my body? And I really thought I would do an app or a book or I don't know. I only feel responsible now to do these workshops and to interact with people and find more questions. I feel it was great. I come up and turn the keys and I mean, we have a space and we have people who seem interested in it and I feel, yes, right now I feel really positive about it. Sometimes that people have seen enough and they don't need any more and there's so many people out there doing things, but I don't feel like that right now. I feel like there's something about this question, this ability to work in questions and to continue this way that I really feel is something Maybe it's the right time. <laughs> yes. It's like not, uh, we are doing like sport now, we are doing partner acrobatics, so we throw each other in the air. Mm -hmm. So it is amazing and great, but at the same time, our bodies are moving, uh, doing things which are not natural for human body. And here it felt super organic for me. Well, that's another work in this work is to make things that are totally not organic feel organic. That's also something I work on with my teacher, who's my aerial partner, and that's something I work on. Trying to make those things be natural and feel natural or appear natural. Not natural. Yeah, I guess I, I want the system to live past my life, my body. And uh, I try to think about the best way to do it without making the mistake of trying to make a, such a system that's so closed and perfect that people don't find the human way in. Yeah, it's a process thing. It's less finding the perfect result than the process. Keep the questions. Yeah, that's it.